Hey guys and ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online, and today we are going to be talking about the Burston. Burston is a rifle that shoots in burst. La di da, obviously. So, here's the um, basically the loadout page, really. So you can go ahead and click on any of these, and it'll take you straight to there. So, without further ado, let's talk about the corrosive and cold for Void. That's right, corrosive and cold. And you might be asking. Why corrosive and void? Like what? Why? Why corrosive and cold? Or void? Or void? <laughs> There's the thing. I know some of you might be so used to the idea of DPS, DPS, DPS. But here's the thing. I personally believe when you want to hit really high level, and this is what I do myself, is you want crowd control. You want a lot of crowd control. Even if you do a lot of damage, you want some kind of crowd control. So here's the uh, thing that I'm giving you. And I'm not giving you a handicap here because shield actually helps you take down shields. And it still kind of gives you some form of crowd control and corrosive still there. So let's talk about the corrosive and heat for the infested. And again, I know some of you might be asking, wait a minute, corrosive and heat for the infested, didn't you like... Why not put there and why not put corrosive and heat in the void because well with the heat you still kind of have that You know mini crowd control feature where the enemy's just waving their arms around and you'd be right, but here's the thing I Personally think that the uh, shield bypass or the shield bonus really is more helpful so whereas for the um, Infested you actually get the corrosive to fight ancients and the heat to fight everything else. So it's a lot more synergized So with that being said, let's talk about the corpus where there are two types of build that I'm giving you So let's talk about the electricity and viral and you might be asking yourself This is kind of silly But in truth it might not be Here's the thing you have to kind of understand that electricity and viral is a very potent combo if you've done it right and generally speaking when you were doing it you kind of want a weapon with a decent status chance at least and Burston kind of fills that requirement so why electricity and viral because the electricity helps you with the robotics and the viral just cuts down the enemy's health by 50% chance and it can stack although I know when I'm making this video it still does but it might not be in the future, so bear that in mind. With that being said, let's talk about the more conventional magnetic and toxin for corpus. That's right, this is the lot more, you know, mainstream approach in taking down corpus. And a lot of you might already be familiar with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and presume that some of you might not be too familiar. So we use the magnetic to just drain the enemy shield like nobody's business and we use toxin to bypass those shields. So it pretty much mows down any crewman you might see and also even after the shield is gone you still get that hefty 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 magnetic damage that still adds up to you know the rest of your damage. So it works out pretty nice right? However it's also noted that Toxin does play a part in here as well because of the status chance. With that being said, let's talk about the Grenier, Radiation, and Viral. And this thing, this is the culmination of Viral. It's amazing. When you see the ability of Radiation to actually take the focus away from you and make them fight each other, and you get the Viral to cut down that health to 50%. And again, at the time of this recording, it still stacks, so it's pretty uh, it's pretty impressive, really. And as you can see, this is the thing. These two elements, I mean like the element combo, right? It's perfect for a Grenier, because no matter what kind of Grenier you're fighting, chances are they're weak against at least one of these elemental combo. So... Here's the thing, I'm gonna talk about the accuracy. So why do I put the accuracy in the back, you might be asking, and why do you always hide it in the back? Because 
I want you guys to actually watch this video throughout because it's important. I'm going to shoot from here, very long range, right? And then long range, and then kind of like where most of you will be fighting over there, and at that box over there. And I'll be shooting at the lights over at the end of this, you know, area. And as you can see, this is when I use a stabilizer, like, you know, the uh, steady hands and whatever. I, I forget the name. So that's the long range. And then here's where most of you will be fighting your enemies, generally speaking, right? About that much, like that far. And then this is close up. And yeah. So close up, it doesn't really make, like, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But as you can see, without a stabilizer, like, you know, a stabilizer mod of some sort, it kicks like crazy. And even at a long range like this, you are, you can expect at least two bullets will miss, especially if they're in a cover. And at a normal distance, if you will, like this, you might miss a single shot, especially if they're in a cover. So it becomes a little bit problematic, really, that it's only perfectly accurate at a really short range. So let's do a quick comparison between the stabilizer and the uh, non-stabilized, you know, version. And as you can see, it's not as good. But with that being said, I hope I kind of helped you in some way about the uh, burst and rifle. I know a lot of you might not even use this, but uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you want to check out the channel, it's right there. I'm not going to push you, whatever. Anyway, hopefully that's been helpful and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care guys, have a good one, bye bye.